Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Balumi Agbola. It's really really nice to have you here once again. If you're new here, you're absolutely welcome. Feel free to check out my other videos and please subscribe to my channel. Please, please. Have you done it? Thank you. As for old time, as you know we do it, it's time for another movie review and today I'll be reviewing God Calling. I got a call today. It was from God. God is calling you. I said God is calling you. Just kidding, but was, I was really, really pleased to see a faith-based movie in the cinema. God Calling was written and directed by Bibi Shashari. Bibi Shashari is the brain behind Before 30. He also wrote and directed by Lyle and Ghost. When I saw the trailer for God Calling, I was really, really excited, excited about this movie. It automatically became my number one movie to watch in the cinema because the trailer was really, really good. Um, Zena Balog would jump in the third of bridge. Who wouldn't want to see that? But did the trailer live up to the expectations in the movie? I'll get to that later. Let's review God Calling. The plot is, is um, based on the story of a, of a young lady who doesn't really reverence or believe that there is a God. Her name is Shade. But God calls her after a personal tragedy and she's made to believe in the word of God. Even really good because God can even call her on a mobile phone. Like who wouldn't want that? For the cast, we have um, Zena Balogun, Kaduri Fubara, we have Eko Edewo, we have Shion Wajai, Richard Buffett, Dabi Jo, Tina Mba, Nkem Owo, Oyen Kawen, now cinematography, wow. Now, that's, that's like the, the, the best part of this movie. It was crisp, clear, it was beautiful cinematography, they showed the beauty of the, uh, the city of Lagos. But I think there was a bit over dependence on CGI. They were trying to cover up everything with CGI just so that you can, just so that if you see good, good visuals, You'll be um, you'll be fantasized and already fall in love with the movie. But something I didn't really like was that the sound quality was really bad. There were a lot of reverb and echoing sound just for just no reason. Now, the echoing and reverb sound were not for effect. And I think it was a really um, there was an issue with the sound quality. Basically, it was it was not really as as great as we expected it to be because the trailer was top notch too but the the movie itself didn't really give me those vibes the trailer gave me yes it passed across the message that we should always try to never forget that there is a god and always try to reverence god and always be willing to accept god's calling i guess the whole idea of the movie um like reference god god can call you at any time the movie it was well passed across also commend the costume and production design oh my god um, from the trailer you could see that shade played by his mother who had a little daughter the production design, the amount of detail that was in that kid's room. Oh my goodness. That's, those three movies, the characters on my bed, the um, double decker, everything was crepes clear. There, were, there was a bit of uh, uh, product placement, or should I say brand placement, where they're trying to advertise the church. Um, I don't know what's called the name of the church, and also a noodle brand. Either. The acting was stellar. The acting was really, really stellar. I'll give it up to Zena Balog with the lead character and Kim or War. Sometimes it didn't even it didn't even need to or something. I didn't even need to like say something. Just by his looks alone, we're already laughing in the cinemas and also Richard Muffet damage to those. This particular scene, I don't want to give spoilers of um where a miracle happened with him and it was so so that, that scene was really really good. There are a lot of things I didn't really like about this the cinematography, the over dependence on CGI and the sound quality. So it just makes us realize that when, when doing a movie, don't just focus on the picture, oh this shot, this shot, this shot. Also ask your sound guy if it's possible, get headphones to so know if the sound is good or try to find out what is making the sound bad. Is it generator? Is it people that are making noise at the background or something? Just so that everything can be can go on smoothly. So overall, I still good calling this. It's not it's a decent movie, not, not as not as great as I wanted it to be. Not was not as um gripping and enticing as, as the trailer made it to made it sound but i think it was not in, in in general it was not a bad movie but it could have been done better so i'll give it a 2.5 number five so guys that's my review of god calling thank you guys so much for watching um i'll see you guys in my next video if you don't subscribe please please and please subscribe to my channel please give this video a thumbs up thank you very much i'll see you in my next video bye, -bye.